In 2010, the Agribusiness Committee of the Nampa Caldwell Chambers of Commerce recognizes Tagasuki Seed Farms of Wilder, Idaho as the Farm Family of the Year. This is my wife, Suzanne. Keeps me going, keeps the farm going when I'm doing other things. This is Paige, our daughter, she's 12. Taylor, our oldest son, he's 16. And Cole, who's trapped in the middle, is 14. Planting and growing specialty crops on 1,500 acres of Canyon County soil is what they do. It started with about 32 acres. First started in 1977. And my dad was farming, he's been farming, oh geez, since 40, would have been 47. These are my parents. This is my dad, Mitch, and this is my mom, Aya. We're now sitting at about 1,500 acres we're farming here in Canyon County. And in that uh, 1,500 acres, our primary crop is alfalfa seed, uh, and then it's onions, uh, the, the bulb onions, what everybody eats, and then we raise seed peas, seed beans, and wheat. While Mitch and Aya now enjoy the retired life, the Tagasuki teenagers are helping out around the farm and thinking of their futures. Well, right now I'm working towards the uh, medical field, doctor probably. What do you want to be called? I don't know, but not weeding. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably end up being a pharmacist. <laughs> and like all successful farm operations, wife Suzanne pushes the paper and keeps Pat focused on his day-to-day -day tasks. Um, I take care of all the um, books, take do all the payroll, personnel problems, and field all the calls that people Pat hasn't followed through on things so that I get to nag him to finish up what somebody else needs. <laughs> every, every farmer needs one of those. Yeah. <laughs> it's very likely most all farmers in Canyon County, as well as farmers and ranchers across the state, have talked agriculture with Pat. For 10 years, he served three different governors as the director of the Idaho Department of Agriculture. Served uh, Phil Bat for his four years and then uh, uh, Governor Kempthorne when he was in and then my last year was spent with Governor Risch. Uh, all three outstanding governors and uh, learned a lot from how government works on the inside. So if anybody's got any problems out there just just give me a call. I know how and who to talk to. <laughs> For Suzanne, the time was stressful but manageable thanks to good help. We have um, two foremen that have been with Pat for over 30 years each and so they we can pretty much run the day-to-day -day and know what kind of decisions Pat would make if he was there. And so they pretty much handled that, but there were times when I had to get on the phone and sometimes even when he was in Asia on a trade mission or something where I would have to call him and say, you know, this is going on, what do you want us to do? Pat has moved on to another frontier now, currently serving District 10 in the Idaho House of Representatives. After more than 30 years of farm living in our area, Pat reflects on the importance of agriculture to the Treasure Valley. Well, agriculture is what started this valley, and it was because of the irrigation system. And if you took that all away, you'd have a lot of desert here with just some spots of growth. You know, uh, at a time they thought it was going to really turn the tide and we were going to turn into a, a metropolitan area. Well, we have to a degree, but Agriculture is still the foundation of this valley, and I think it'll be that way for a long time. We'll still see the growth, but it's going to be near the cities, and it's going to be pretty restricted. So, agriculture, it is this Treasure Valley, and that's why it was named the Treasure Valley. Takasugi Seed Farms of Wilder, the 2010 Farm Family of the Year.